Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Let's talk about your love life. What do we have for the love lives of our Cancer friends? Let's take a look. What is going on with Cancer? We have, you're looking for answers. There is something that you don't know about. That is Pisces energy. Let's see what we have for our Cancers. Let's see what we have for Cancer. Let's look at the bottom of the deck again. And we have the King of Pentacles. So you want to know about a King of Pentacles, huh? Some of this very interesting Taurus energy, very compatible with Cancerian energy. So that is what you're thinking about as you come to the reading. A certain person that's mysterious, passionate, loyal, and kind. They're very there. Look at your recent energy. In the past with your lover is a lover's card. Beautiful Gemini energy. Hot, spicy. Look at that. Beautiful. A lot of passion in this relationship in the recent past. Let's look and see what your current energy is. Six of Swords, trying to move away from troubled times. So we'll look into that and see what it really means. Okay, so that's your current energy. Six of Swords is Aquarius or Enlightened Energy. It also says that your person views the situation as needing, it's going to require letting go of something else. Okay, to have this relationship and to move forward with you requires a release of something and their energy will clarify, of course, as we always do. Let's see how they view you, Cancer. How does your person view you? How does your person view you? How does your person view our Cancers? There we go. They view you. Oh, Cancer. <laughs> They view you as a fun person. Your person, they see you as a very fun person. Somebody who likes to cut loose, have fun. You're joyful. You're playful. You're funny. Um, they see you sometimes throwing caution to the winds. You might be younger than them, but that means that they feel as though you're open to a relationship with them. And they also view you as a person who will cut anyone out of their life that doesn't tell the truth. And I like that. I like that energy. They see you as very balanced, as very smart, and that you know the score, Cancer. You know the score, and you know what you want. So how do they feel in their heart space, Cancer? How do they feel in their heart space? How do they feel in their heart space? Look at this, the sun card, happiest card in the deck. <laughs> They feel like you could be the one. The sun card is incredibly important to long-term committed relationships because it says that no matter what happens, the sun will always shine on the relationship. That is not a card that usually disappears. Even in relationships that go through tough times, it is a card that really indicates great happiness. Be right back. So, Cancer. So, let's see how they view the situation going forward. They're going to take action. Look at that chariot card, Cancer energy they are coming to you cancer they wild horses can't stop them if you look at this card you'll notice the emperor is driving it the emperor energy is that person who's going to fight to have you in their life and this is cancer so they're coming honey i'm home and if you notice this driver up here is using psychic energy to have the course horses know where to go in terms of searching you out. We also see all that passionate energy as the night sky falls, my friends. Beautiful. Let's see how you feel. What is the hidden energy between you and your person, Cancer? What is the hidden energy? Look at this. You have telepathic communication. You're both very bright people. The energy is that you're both very spiritual. The energy says that you're very discreet that both of you feel very like this is almost a religious experience. The High Priestess is all about protecting and nurturing the commitment, and that is the energy between the two of you. Cancer, that's a Cancer card also, as is a chariot, which means that you're both nurturing this relationship. What do we have as advice from Spirit Cancer? Walk away from something. And I see that attached to this, right? Walk away from something else. So if you've been having a relationship that you haven't quite finished, 
uh, the judgment card is saying that you need to do that. Both of you. This is the energy. Spirit is getting both of you. So walk away from that which is not rewarding. Release something from the past. And we see the moving away energy is current. So you have to do that. Uh, and it looks as though you became lovers fairly recently, and that requires a decision. So both of you have to make a decision, and both of you want to make the decision. So Spirit is saying you're on the right path. Nice energy. All right, so let's look and see what your outcome card is before we clarify. What is the outcome card for our Cancer friends for this reading? Here we go again. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you are rushing in to talk. You want to speak to one another. You want to tell your personal truth. Gemini energy. There's going to be a powwow here. So we've begun with the Gemini card, and we're ending with the Gemini card. Interesting. So let's go ahead and clarify. Let's look at the other view for clarifying. Okay, so let's clarify these cards for you, Cancer. So why do we have the lover's card here. All right, making a choice. So both of you are probably at least dating other people. So we're getting the clarification card is the reason the lover's card here is here is it tells you that if you want to be with your soulmate, you're going to have to make a decision. So let's see what the six of swords is. What is the six of swords that was in the recent past? Now it does appear right now that both of you are moving forward from separate boats, okay? So let's see why we have the Six of Swords energy here for you, Cancer. Why is the Six of Swords energy here for Cancer? You're at a crossroads. You need to make a decision. And it also is, is saying that you're both holding back. You're not talking about this with one another. You're both in the process of moving forward together. You're both in the process of releasing something. So in this particular case, your person feels that they need to release perhaps another person, a Queen of Pentacles person. So we have this energy that they need to realize. I also would say that they may be in a relationship that is uh, stable but not fulfilling, and they need to release that. You know, it's one thing to be secure. It's quite another to be happy. So to rush in towards you, I feel as though that is a very powerful energy. I'm doing the old tarot card reader OCD trick. Let me straighten the cards. <laughs> All right, look at how they feel in their heart space. They feel victorious. They feel that you. they finally found their happiness with you. That is double Leo energy. It's the height of romance. It's the epitome of happiness, joy, sensuality, sexuality. It's the, Those are the two happiest cards in the deck, two of them. Look at this. They're rushing in right now to have their happily ever after with you. Cancer. This is a fantastic reading, but again, they're going to be reasonable. They're going to pace themselves. Look at that. When we get the Three of Cups, when we get the Ace of Coins, we get an engagement. This person knows what they want with you. They want to make you an offer. They want to get to know you better, Cancer. Beautiful, beautiful. Fiery King of Wands energy. Look at that. I really deal. I think you're you're dealing with somebody who has a Leo Sun Moon rising. And look at what they want. They want marriage happily ever after here and a legacy marriage there, possibly with children. They're thinking. They're getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. They definitely have a lot of pride and they want to make you part of their family because that's what the Leo King does. Woo energy. Wow. Let's see why we have the beautiful High Priestess here. So the two of you are really on quite a path. You may have known each other. Wow. This is a card that tells me you may have known each other. This is the Soulmates of the Minor Arcana. The Six of Cups is also a reconciliation or a reunion, I should say. It's really more reunion. It's a card that says, though neither of you are talking about it, you do see each other as possibly growing old together. This is a deep level love, Cancer. For many of you, you've known this person for a while. Maybe many years, maybe since childhood for some of you. 
I'm also getting that for many of you, you've been in a relationship that in which somebody did not share their feelings enough. What you're looking for is someone who says, honey, I'm home. And so what we see is that you want a relationship in which the person is calm. Spirit is saying, walk away, though, from somebody who doesn't open up with you and go to somebody who does open up with you. And we saw the chariot card over here. Look at that. The chariot card is your person. So leave one person behind and move swiftly to the other. It's okay. It shows that you're safe. You're in a very spiritually um, appropriate, like a relationship that shows a lot of honesty and integrity and happiness. So the uh, Knight of Swords, clarified by the Hanged Man, tells me that you both want to speak your truth, but both of you are waiting around, looking at things from a different perspective. I also think that you want to share your viewpoints and get the thoughts of each other. The Wheel of Fortune is your clarifier. Your luck is coming in once again. We have both of you have fire in your belly for the relationship. You are staying calm, cool, and collected with the beautiful King of Swords card. But you have this fire. You have all of this fire energy. So, so let's see what it says. Cancer, what's the advice about this relationship? Wisdom of the Oracle. What does the wisdom of the Oracle want to tell our beautiful Cancer friends? Let's see. <gasps> Poised, ready for action. Beautiful energy. Poised for the future. All right. Let's see what else we have here for what you need to know about the relationship. What significance does this have? For our cancer friends what is the significance that you need to know at this time about this connection the spiritual element of it eyes of the eagle rising above the fray letting go of anything that doesn't matter just have your true happiness you know not getting caught up in minutia not being petty this is all about looking at the big picture and going for the gold gorgeous it's really about being mature Let's see what we have from the Doggy Oracle. Let's see what it says. What is the advice from the Dog Spirit Oracle? Let's see. Boundaries. Okay. Stay in your own business. So as you get to know each other, do not spend time asking about other relationships. The advice very much is here, is that focus on each other, get to know each other, enjoy each other, you know, give to each other, but don't ask too many questions about the past. Both of you are in a beautiful spiritual place of wisdom. So Cancer, that's what I have for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, bye-bye.